how does somebody make themselves more likable and why that why is that even important to you from a client base look if I give you a bad case we all know it's a bad case what are you going to do to help me or what's your uh, thought process. What do you think? Don't just tell me what I want to hear. I think that you can get that out pretty quickly when you do have a conversation and you, you know, take it in many ways. When you're just so focused on the sale, I think that's almost like a turn off on it, like trying to tell me everything I want to hear. You personalize it. You, you know, you talk about things and you let how the conversation evolves. And I think you have, if you have a really good conversation that does move in many directions, to me, that's, that's a benefit. Don't just sit there and tell me and my colleagues what I want to hear. And we're going to take our parting shots. But the one thing I'd recommend to all of you, we all know who you guys are in the room, the senior partners. When you do go rain make and go visit, bring an associate with you. We know how busy you are. We already know you. Bring to us, when you come to the carrier, who your associate is, a guy that you trust, because it always goes with the same issue as far as I go. If I ever have a problem, would I ask you to defend me? That goes a long way of knowing who you are. And when you start bringing your associates, your up-and-coming lawyer, we want to know them as well because you're busy. And I want to have that comfort zone that, for instance, here you're not, you're not available, you're on trial for three weeks. I can make that phone call and get a great response that we're not waiting. Time is of the essence. So when you're just building our relationship, you're also spreading your knowledge with your staff to introduce them to other people in the, in the departments. And